Good day, dear colleagues. Allow me to present this work on the evaluation of antioxidant status of the body and the treatment of combined thermal injury with cold plasma. Подойди к ней прямо сейчас. Потому что, скажем, мы вас не поняли, что вы имеете в виду. In Russia, the incidence of uh, thermal injury is uh, the third one among other trauma. In the pathogenesis of thermal injury, it happens uh, as a response to the release of uh, into the blood the products of uh, disintegration of products. One of the stable products of free radical oxidation is uh, molonyl uh, gelegid. Uh, its concentration goes up by reflecting uh, the intensity of free radical oxidation, and the blood is first uh, uh, affected by toxic substances from the core source of uh, thermal oxidation and analysis. It's uh, allowing to see pathological changes in the body, follow it, and uh, judge the efficacy of the treatment. Uh, you have to study the pathogenesis of the thermal injury and its treatment, also the state of uh, the liver which detoxes the body and uh, uh, enters the chain has to be studied in the liver and the five ways to correct it. Lately, the medicine practice has seen a wide application of the scape of coagulator stimulator of uh, air plasma plus on. It's uh, based on the influence of uh, flows of air plasma to get surgical therapeutic effect. Uh, Plazon is a source not only for cold plasma but oxide uh, nitrogen which is formed through plasma uh, chemical reactions. It's for coagulation wound uh, uh, surfaces. <coughs> also it's uh, needed to stimulate uh, reparation processes when treating wounds and uh, lesions and uh, soft tissues. Uh, at a temperature up to 40 Celsius. It's uh, the fourth state uh, of uh, substances plasma, along with gas, solid and liquid. It's formed when high energy processes uh, take the electrons out of atoms, uh, which uh, lead to high temperature ions of flows. It's called plasma, but it's called cold plasma because the temperature in its uh, point of effect is not um, is uh, lower than usually. It's an ionized room temperature. Uh, gas, ultraviolet and free electrons are in it. The presence of active particles when the gas is neutral gives uh, this plasma unique properties. Uh, the goal uh, is uh, to study in the trend of a specific activity of super oxidism doesn't catalyze and the concentration of melanol gel to get in the combined uh, thermal injury after before and after oxide uh, nitrogen containing here we see 70 uh, whistler males, 20 to 20, uh, 200 to 250 grams. Uh, the first group intact, two, uh, three, and four groups control groups. The rest control. Найди эту презентацию. Найди эту презентацию. Что говори? Она у тебя есть на компьютере. Нет, нет. So. The burning products were inhaled for 10 seconds. The animals were taken out of the eczema for on the first 7 and 14 days. They were given a flow of plasma by plasma at a uh, distance of 1 centimeter or so from the burning surface. Before of the low life of oxide nitrogen, the structure of the device on the plasma flow that is loose the burning flow the prefer in, uh, in comparing the uh, the burning indexes we used other materials the use of the increase of flow of free radicals was after the um, burn um, impacts that was according to um, uh, okay the statistics show that it was really improved in difference according to the particular drum. The cold plasma use led to statistically important in 1.7 uh, in the first year and then 1 to 27 on the 14th day compared to the animals without treatment. And the, the, the 
very interesting content was obvious in all the throughout the whole period of treatment. And the after combined thermal trauma application statistics increase of concentration of him recognizes in liver 1.27 times the first uh, day 143 times 14th day compared to norm but uh, cold plasma containing nitrox led to increase of concentration 1.27 the first day 145 times 7 <coughs> day and compared to indicators of rats with that didn't have treatment 1.6 times compared to norm. As a result of this experiment, the sound is statistically significant the compensatory increase of the overall size by uh, 1 po 0 point. <laughs> She is way too quick, sorry. As it is known, after when in the bloodstream, free oxidation, radical oxidation products uh, uh, destroy the kidneys and the spleen, which releases antioxidant ferments into the bloodstream. Using cold plasma with uh, nitrogen oxide on the burned surface has uh, decreased uh, the specific activity of superoxidase metastasis compared to the other rats, normalizing the activity of superoxidase metastasis by the 14th day after the birth, and the specific activity of superoxidase uh, metastasis was higher um, by 2.5 on the 7th day compared to the norm. Uh, the studies uh, show that a specific significant uh, increase of the activity of superoxidase metastasis in the liver on the first and seventh day and on the fourteenth day by 2.5 times after combined thermal injury application under the influence of hexogenic therapy we saw a growth of the specific activity of the ferment by 1.1 percent to 1.7 on the 14th day after the experiment as compared to the indicator under examination other animals with combined thermal injuries in the other groups which is down to the nitrogen oxide which is part of cold plasma using cold plasma which contains nitrogen oxide has increased uh, the activity of superoxide by 2.6 times on the first day, 2.7 on seven, day seven, and on day 14 as compared to the norm. Also important to know uh, the uh, activities of uh, catalase. Catalase, uh, apart from deactivating the peroxide, it can increase all the kids and reactions regulated by catalase to not take any energy for it to be activated. Uh, the study we did show the, an increase in specific activity catalyzed in the exercise by 2.4 times on the first day, on day 7, and uh, 6.9 times on day 14 after the burn as compared to the norm. We saw a reduction of specific activity of catalase by 1.64 times on day 14 of combined thermal injury treatment by plazon as compared to uh, the norm, uh, the untreated group. The activity of catalase was higher by 3.3 times in the first day and 2.8 on day 7 as compared to the norm. The high activity of the ferment on day 14 can be explained by the second function of catalase. And apart from deactivating the peroxide, it utilizes uh, the guys accumulated uh, during uh, processes so that happened during the burn. This is studying the specific activity of uh, uh, catalase in the hemogenesis of the liver. We see it's uh, triple link using cold plasma with the nitrogen oxide has a significant significant decrease of the activity of catalase in the liver on the first day 
by 1.27 on day 7 as compared to the untreated uh, group. However, Spisk activity of catalyzer was higher by 2.5 times on day 1, day 7, and 1.6 on day 14 as compared to the norm. The data we got allows us uh, to believe the ferment has decreased in activation. So using cold plasma, which has uh, nitrogen oxides, we believe that uh, between day 1 and day 7 we can uh, see uh, the data uh, of activity superoxidismate and the high activity of catalase and using combi treating combined injury uh, with the thermal injury using cold plasma leads uh, to the decreased activity of uh, peroxide hydrogen and using uh, it uh, when to in it can be explained to the decrease of uh, free radicals in the blood as a response to the thermal injury, which is proved by these concentrations in the blood and the liver. So, using plazon when treating thermal injuries, uh, decrease the pro uh, load on the body, decrease the treatment times, uh, and uh, to improve the healing time. Thank you for your attention. I have this question. Liver, spleen, what else did you study? What else uh, did you study? What organs? Well, the animals were taking blood samples from during the experiment in literature. There is indications reference uh, to the cells of the spleen being destroyed. Yes, yeah, so you are focused on the liver only. Now we also looked for it in the lungs, in the heart, in the kidneys, apart from the liver. It, you were not clear about it in your report because you were too quick. Any more questions to the speaker? She said that. Thank you very much for your interesting report. How did you technically go about uh, the cold plasma application on the wound plus zone? Could you show us a picture of how it works, because I want to see how the treatment goes. We did see the device, but we want to know more about the method. So it's applied on the <coughs> injury surface. Imagine it's here, it's burned. And Plazon has a, mm, a manipulator of sorts, or an applicator. So you basically blow it with a plasma gas flow at a distance uh, where uh, at the, there is the tip of the applicator in the distance about 10 centimeters. Uh, what's the surface of the time that it's supposed to take? The surface of the burn, you mean? Yes, it could be a few centimeters or it could be uh, more. Uh, what 20% of the surface? of the body surface, sorry, 20% of the body surface is 2, 2 to 3 centimeters. How long does the treatment take? 3 minutes it takes for 3 square meters. T sorry, 2 minutes. Oh, 2 minutes for 3 square centimeters. Uh, what if the surface is a large? 20 or 30 square centimeters. You have to be guided here. You have to study the degree of the burn for 20 square centimeters, how much would it take? This is something that we should work on once we had a second degree burn. But a second degree burn is a very mild, there is just a reddening on the skin. What was the temperature of the plasma? Uh, the temperature of the cold plasma was at the temperature. <laughs> About 40 degrees, it's real cold. What were the consumables? <laughs> It takes a cooling uh, fluid to cool it. D do you buy it separately? This uh, cooling fl uh, No, it's uh, uh, ethyl spirit. What's uh, the cost of this uh, device? It's hard to say. It's uh, the kind of information I can give you. So, theory is all good, but uh, I want to learn more about practice to promote it in the future. Thank you very much for your answers. Any more questions? Tell me, please. So you applied it on the surface, you studied uh, the organs, uh, the hemi 
the hemogenesis of urethrocytes and that of the liver. What would be the distance? What would be the mechanism from the surface to the cells? How come uh, the antioxidant effect uh, is generated through the surface structures? I believe it's caused by the fact that the composition of the cold plasma includes uh, nitrogen oxide which activates cyclic uh, aminocyclase which improves uh, the uh, release and production of antioxidant uh, ferments improving the antioxidant status of the body but the content of cold plasma also extends uh, to includes other active substances so which give it certain antibacterial activities or properties Uh, during the progress uh, no no it's not what I ask you about this is a herd you have a very uh, small area to be treated but the effect the internal effect uh, of this device is quite considerable how does it happen well how do we get this strong action from this device I didn't get your question sorry I'm oh, just you have an external action, but you see antioxidant properties in the. L you see antioxidant changes in the cells and in the liver. How do you get it? I understand. I get the external changes on the skin, but how come it? What triggers the internal changes in the body? It's because of the blood. Because of blood triggers an exchange between uh, the treated surface and the internal organs of the body and that's how you get uh, uh, this action within the organism within the body thank you very much any more questions uh, to this speaker microphone please Thank you. It's going back to the same question. You say you it goes on only for two minutes. It's capillary blood, as I believe. What uh, amount of blood can it radiate? Uh, like three square centimeters to get these effects. We cleanses don't get it. Maybe you, a scientist, get it, but we don't get it. Explain it to us. How to get this effect, given that the surface is uh, small and uh, the treatment takes only two minutes. Can you repeat your question? It's a simple question. You said that uh, the treatment takes about two minutes and the square meters is uh, three square centimeters. It's uh, 20 percent uh, of the body surface. 20 percent of the body surface is small, 3 to 2 centimeters. This will be 6 square centimeters. Uh, this is something I didn't. This is something I didn't get uh, because we have uh, this um, high rate of uh, the blood flow in your treat so much blood. How does it happen? How to get to the liver, to the spleen? How do you get this antioxidant properties? I do get the ozone therapy part. Uh, so you get uh, it inside 500 milliliters, you get the right effect of doing the ozone therapy, which is uh, explained uh, scientifically and clear to clinicists. Uh, but uh, here, because um, this uh, device is not uh, seen here, we have not used it in our practice. So theoretically, uh, we want to understand uh, whether how it happens. How do we get this result, uh, which is equal to ozone therapy? So you are offering this. Uh, today we had a few more speeches uh, on a few things because sometimes I didn't get some of the things in those reports. Maybe you could uh, explain something to me. Uh, the treatment uh, uh, applies to 20% of the surface of the body. It's not that small, actually.
uh, if uh, it's a person's 32 centimeters, so then it's uh, different from a rat's 32 centimeter surface. I'm sorry, I forgot your question. Any more questions? If